hii timu iko na pesa ya kununua najua kwa kulima mara mingi wanasema oh tumesalisha sasa hatuna mtu ya kununua i think we are doing a good job eh vile nilisema governor tukiwa kwa ofisi eh, in eh, about 2022 we are only doing about 5000 acres last year we scaled up through these activities na tukafikisha eka 1040 This year we are looking at 103. Shida ambayo tulikuwa naye kidogo kidogo ilikuwa shida ya mbegu. We have gone out of our way through the office of the president. We now have gone you can see Lori Kismama iko na mbegu. We have gone all the way to Togo. Hii mbegu iko hapa it was grown in Togo. Uh, we've gotten seed from Chad from Benin na tunachanganya na ile yetu tuko nayo hapa ya PT ambayo tuko nayo and the little uh, cotton lind that was bought from here ikienda salawa wakishatoa cotton ile seed inabaki pia tunarudisha so part of the OPV is the 15000 tons the 15000 kilos which is 15 tons that we'll be giving today ni ile wakulima walikuwa wamesalisha koto ni katolewa ikatengenezwa nguo na ile mbegu ilitoka pia tumerudisha so mimi nikiona nataka kushukuru wote vile tumeshikana ya kwamba hii kasi haiwezi fanyika na mtu mmoja na lazima tushikane and i appreciate what the, the, the speaker has said when it comes to a kenyan hakuna mkenya wa county government na hakuna mkenya wa national government but we really also want to appreciate that working together of the national government and the county government is provided for within the law that we shall be able to work together so nataka kushukuru national guard team ambao wako hapa team ya county government that have done a great job uh, the stakeholders including thika cloth mill salawa jinari na wengine for coming together so imbegu leo tunatoa hapa tuna mbegu imetolewa na state department ya industry tuna mbegu imetolewa na county government of siaya tuna TCM tuna AFA tuna Sangin na yote karibu ile mbegu tuko nayo hapa ni karibu 25 million worth of cotton tupee makofi kwa hiyo and uh, we are hoping so na wakulima sasa tukipata hii mbegu najua ni wakati ya kupanda and i know sometimes we prioritize chakula but pia pesa mfukoni ni muhimu so we will say panda chakula yako mahindi maragwe lakini set aside a small piece to pande cotton e, governor last year tukikuja hapa tare 5 mwezi wa 5 bei ya cotton tulikuwa tunanunua 1 kilo for 52 shillings e, by the end of 2023 tukakaa chini e, hii team ikakaa we looked at the cost of production and we asked ourselves at which point does a farmer make a profit and we were able to come up with a new price of 65 shillings as we talk now we are buying between 65 and 72 shillings that's an increment of almost uh, from 52 hiyo ni karibu 17 shillings juu ya hiyo bei so nikiangalia uh, the future is looking very good sisi wote tunafaa nguo if you look at cotton kama umevaa nguo you are putting on cotton ila aibu tuko nayo ni kwamba hii nguo tunavaa ni nguo imetengenezwa na pamba that has been grown by somebody else so sisi hatuna pesa kwa mfuko lakini tumepeana nafasi mkulima wa India mkulima wa China mkulima wa Uganda mkulima wa Tanzania apande cotton sisi tutengeneze nguo we ovae na hatuna pesa so it is a very very important crop because always kosa soko kwa sababu sisi wote tukiamka asubuhi lazima tufae nguo na ndio tutengeneze hiyo nguo lazima tuwe na cotton that is why his excellency the president has prioritized mambo ya cotton and we have gone out as his team to make sure ya kwamba tuna leta environment ambaye itatusaidia kurudisha cotton bahari ilikuwa ile kitu imetus, vile nimesema imetusumbua sana ilikuwa ni seed because 
vile tunaendelea kupanda last year this year we started off with a lot of worry but vile nimesema we have gone beyond the borders of Kenya mbeku tuko nayo mbolea serikali imeleta for 2500 county government is also doing the same so mambo ya chemicals na nini naona wako wataalamu hapa wanatuonyesha mambo ya cooperative ya kujiunga pamoja tuko na PS hapa we also have cooperative bank i know that uh, kama general yetu iko hapa mluanda in busia already cooperative bank walikuwa umetupea manager hapo kusimamia hiyo uh, general uh, so we are doing well uh, uh, mambo ya general ndio bado inatushikilia kwa sababu tukiangalia hii region we have a small general in mluanda hapa busia uh, pia there's a small general in malakisi but the bigger one that we are using is the one in baringo which is salawa uh, general but tumerawana na governor ya kwamba we will work together eh, county kitoa shamba tutafute investor ili tuweze kujenga jina yetu hapa eh, CIA na remember kama tunataka kujenga jina lazima tukue na cotton ya kutosha because you don't want to buy a jina for 250 million uweke hapa kutengeneza kunia tano ya cotton so the thing i want to encourage the county and the farmers is this go full blast waja tupande cotton so that tukileta hiyo jinari ikuwe na kazi ya kufanya so and uh, as we do the jinari then we will start to get more value because tut, mbegu yetu itabaki hapa hiyo mbegu tunaweza tengeneza mafuta ya kupigia hiyo mbegu tunaweza tengeneza sabuni hiyo mbegu tunaweza tengeneza chakula ya kuku na chakula ya ngombe so if we gin here we will get a lot of value but also to kianza kujine hapa uh, one of the things that we also want to encourage the county governments tuko na shule uh, which the county government for example unasimamia mambo ya early childhood education ECD hata kama tunaweza kuanza kutumia cotton ya ya ya, ya CIA ya kutengeneza tu nguo uniform ya watoto we can have a small uh, place for knitting tutengeneze mashati na masuruali za vijana ili Uh, as we have said we want to promote the slogan ya kwamba buy siaya build siaya tunataka tufae nguo ya watu ambao ya, eh, imetoka hapa la mwisho governor i know that we are working together on the county aggregation and industrial park uh, tendering was done uh, exchequer has been slow but i know that we have agreed with the national treasury ya kwamba before this end of march you will have some money ya kutengeneza mambo ya county aggregation and industrial park na bali tulishikana na county government ni kwamba kwa county aggregation and industrial park the county government ya siaya imetoa shamba alafu county government imeweka 250 million na ministry ya trade investments and industry pia imetoa 250 million so through the kaip we are establishing an aggregation and industrial area ya milioni 500 not just for cotton but look at other things rice fish and other commodities that we identified during the launchings sisi sia tunasema msingi ya maendeleo ni kilimo na kilimo pamoja na blue economy kwa hivyo ukija na mbegu za pamba na unasema ya kwamba ni pesa mfukoni hiyo tunakukaribisha kwa mikono miwili na tunataka urudi na urudi ile kitu ambapo naweza kukuhakikishia ya kwamba siaya is a cotton country counted county na kutoka hapa mpaka ndere ni karibu kilomita 4 peke yake. Na tulikuwa na jinari ambao ilijengwa hapa karibu miaka 80 ambao uh, zilipita wakati wa ukoloni. Inaitwa Ndere Jinari. Hapo tuna hekta karibu 20. Kama ni mambo kutoa ardhi ili tuone jinari mpya, tayari tuna hekta 20. Wewe unasema ika tano na sisi tuna hekta ishirini. Hata mijengo mingine bado ziko pale. Na hizo mijengo zingine zinaanza kutumika ingawaje kama tunaleta jina mpya 
lazima tuwe na mijengo ambao ni ya kisasa na mambo za stores na warehousing haya yote lazima tuiziangalie na kule madiani ambao ndio sehemu ambao eh, tunalima uh, pamba kuliko sehemu zingine katika Siaya County tayari pia kule tuna ardhi na tuna jina kadogo ambao tukiongeza hela na wale investor ambao ambapo wamekuja hapa inaweza kuwa jina kubwa vile ulikuwa nasema lakini tunaweza kufanya hata kuliko vile umesema katika hiyo jina ya madiani tuna ardhi na serikali ya county ilikuwa imeweka tayari shilingi milioni saba na pia katika ile budget ya 2024 2025 tumeweka karibu milioni 30 sasa bwana Juma mwana kama ile rafiki yangu wa dhati kama imetoa ardhi na tumetoa hela karibu milioni hamsini si jina sasa ikuje tu mara moja hata ukisema mikijayo <laughs> tuanze hizo mpango tukae na ulisema kweli tunaweza kukaa chini tupange namna ya kuleta jina hapa sia na nimekubali ya kwamba jina bila pamba bila kuzalisha pamba e, itakuwa ni kazi ya bure na hii ndio wakati ambapo tunaweza kukuonyesha kwamba tunaweza kulima pamba ya kutosha na ambapo ya kwamba tukiwa na jinari that jinari is not going to be idle in siaya we are taking seriously value addition and value chains in the agricultural and blue economy sector tulikuwa na hapa 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 yala delta sehemu ambayo inaitwa usonga walikuwa nawakuza mpunga ya yeah, lakini yote ilikuwa inaenda Uganda wanauza kule Uganda mpaka sasa uh, walikuwa na uuza uh, kule Uganda lakini county ya Siaya ikajenga kiwanda ya kisasa na, na mitambo ya kisasa na sasa kule tukienda na wewe ukiondoka hapa utapata tuna rice mill na tunataka ya kwamba ya mchele kutoka siaya eh, tuna, 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 tuna changamoto ambayo hiyo mchele ya siaya tutasema siaya rice usonga rice sirio rice lakini tunataka ikifika mwezi wa sita saba ukiingia katika supermarket ule ile mchele ambao umetoka siaya ambao ni mzuri kama ile ya mwea na pia tukiendelea hivyo 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 vile umeanza na umeonyesha kwamba umejenga kule busia na sehemu zingine najua tukifanya kazi pamoja within 12 or 18 months wewe ukipanda hapa juu na tucheze dansi na wewe eh itakuwa tunavaa mashati ya kutoka kwa pamba ya siaya na jinari ya siaya inawezekana na kwa hivyo hii ushirikiano ni muhimu ushirikiano ni muhimu na Kenya kama ni mambo ya maendeleo hatuna mpaka tunataka eh, vile mmekuja na uh, pr, uh, principal secretary wa uh, ya cooperatives eh? na na nafurahia sana nataka kule ambao tuna tunakuza mchele kule usonga kitu ambayo ilitufanya tufaulu ni cooperative society ambayo kule iko kule usonge usonga na kule usonga kuna wakina mama na vijana hata watu wa boda boda sikuizi wameingia katika ka, kwa biashara hiyo ya ya mpunga na mchele kwa hivyo unataka ukirudi wakati ambapo tunaangalia siaya imetoka imetoa tani ngapi za za pamba ukirudi hapa na tulete wale, wale wazee walikuwa wa union Um, wetu, uh, next time you are going to get uh, a chance to speak don't be discouraged lakini next time you come we must see young people we must see women wanaume wazi kaa tu peke yao kitu ambao saa zingine inaleta changamoto wakati kuna wakati mwingine tulikuwa tumelete mbegu hapa ndere na hizo mbegu hakuwa mzuri uh, pamba ilikuwa na mea lakini haitoi hiyo 
pamba yenyewe haizalishi pa, uh, uh, pamba lakini hizi mbegu nataka ku, kukuwaelezea kwamba zile ulileta mwaka jana hata mimi nilipanda na sasa ninafanya harvesting na yule mtu kutoka kwa cotton mills kama una hela hapo uziweke tayari ni kupatia hizo pamba zangu i am very excited about this event and please don't give up on our farmers it is a shame that we should be eating rice from pakistan or india it's a shame that we are wearing clothes from cotton grown in india and in china it is time we wake up and we grow these crops ourselves and make sure that the factories are here in our counties and in our country called kenya mimi naita patrick lembi mimi ndio katibu wa shirika kwa serikali kuu na nashukuru governor because of the way umeoka tulikuwa hapa tena siku kuja last year to distribute hii pamba lakini ndugu yangu alikuwa na tumeona bindi kwa sababu ile mbegu tulipiana ilipandwa hata kama wote ilikuwa mbaya we have seen tumeona growth ya tonnage from uh, last year to this year na tunaona sasa tukipeana hii na Mungu atusaidie na wada mzuri isiye itarudi pale kama kama nitatuambia hii ni kweli tu siaya ya pamba nataka na siaya irudie those glorious days when the economy of siaya was agan by cotton growing amen na shukrani sana watu wa siaya ile kitu naomba tu ni hivi governor you know in, a, in this administration mimi nimepewa kazi ya kufanya ile kitu inaitwa aggregation kazi yangu ni hapa hapa watu chini hapa kupanga watu into small feasible economic units in this uh, part of the world your excellency the cooperative movement has legacy problems ukiambia watu waende kwa cooperative wanaogopa and it is best demonstrated in the financial circles ukiangalia the culture of savings due to mistrust is not entrenched if you look at the big circle in uh, in these areas unakuta savings siko chini kwa sababu watu hawaamini watu wana private nimeambiwa wengine wanaenda mpaka kisi kufanya savings huko badala ya kuweka hapa kwa sako za hapa nataka tufanye kasi na na county ya na serikali ya council of governors in collaboration with you we know you are a big voice in the council of governors support us as we push through the new cooperative law which because the currency of transaction in the cooperative movement is trust but this trust we cannot ask for it we must earn it from the people of siaya the only way we can earn this trust is by demonstrating watu kwa wakulima wa pamba pamba ikilimwa kama serikali imesema ni shilingi 72 kwa kilo moja mkulima anapata hiyo 72 si ati inapotelea between mununuzi na mkulima pesa inapotea kwa cooperative hapo hapo katikati hapana ya pili nataka kwa pili governor we need more young people and more in in agriculture and more so in these value chains which are commercial which are anchoring the economy as well I mean, as priority value chains unajua nimeona wazee wangu wa wa siaya cooperative uh, uh, cotton cooperative ni wazee wazuri and i want to thank them for the contribution to the cooperative movement but we need more young people we need more more women in the cotton uh, growing sector your excellency unajua kuna mtu aliambia vijana wetu wende kwa boda boda but when they saw there is money the sector busts let us demonstrate to our young people that there is money in cotton na watu wata nini watarudi kwa mashamba cia is good for even for even for coffee your excellency the governor this county can grow almost everything but importantly allow me as i conclude let me talk about a value chain we look and we see potential in CIA, the blue economy. Your Excellency, we are working with the, your minister to convert all the BM, BM, BMUs in CIA in, along the lake to cooperatives. Because we see billionaires, fish billionaires in Nairobi, we see fish billionaires in Mombasa, but we don't see them where the fish is coming from. We will convert, working with our state department and your minister, we convert the BMUs into cooperative. We will have CIA fish union and we want to let us see what can we do with that value chain 
to bring the anxiety which the fisherman has to face every day at 5 p.m. as he thinks about how he's going to sell his fish at Gunpoint because he has to cater for his day-to-day -day needs from that fish. And we can only do that if we have people come together into cooperatives and we work on the marketing side of things. <laughs> The first grade we call the AR feed cotton. Then the second grade we call the BR feed cotton. And the, and we have another one which is sorted. After sorting out, we get the two grades. Then you get the seed also out of it. So in one if it is well managed, you can put it this one's from uh, Lego Usama, and this one's from Sakwaimo Bwanda. What I'm asking you. Mm. To take care of this kind of animal, it is named, and the traces that it leaves doesn't allow the penetration of strike that was set with me. One, two, it also. Hey, the one you're this the VTC, okay. County. Okay. We have Nyala VTC, okay. we have Randago VTC, then we have uh, Nyandeho VTC. So this is the products that they are Tuna staff ambao wametoka State Department ya Cooperative, State Department ya Agriculture, eh, Regional Development. Nataka kuanza kwa kusema ya kwamba nataka kushukuru team ya County Government, headed by His Excellency. The streets are being handed over to the corporate union officials uh, who will gather uh, uh, together with the Department of Agriculture and uh, distribute uh, the streets to our farmers. Hi, Pastor. I'm the CCM for Trade, Cooperative, Enterprise and Industrialization. Thank you. Our governor, the visiting guest, yes, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, we are here today for a special function and we have our guest. Siaya County Chain for Grass Ways. At last, we can now celebrate a golden touch in our county, Heko Kiongozi, Hongera Governor. We can now begin by 
or do I say we lead and others will finally follow? In administration, we shine. Academics, we are the giants. Governor of Sawa County, Honorable James Arango, and all distinguished guests, welcome to okay. For example, Yusha Kawali, News, Hi, thank you very much, Mayor, for that uh, info. Um, calling upon the Nyala uh, Vocational and uh, Training Institute, near you. County Commissioner, members of the County Assembly present, members of the County Executive, the Chief Officers, and all other County Government. Excellency, Mr. Governor, you raise our shoulders so high. Don't stop until it's done. Let's tell Sierra. The doors to the magic is open every day. A place to call home. Home, sweet home. Sierra County. My pride. Hashodan Stadium. Hashodan Stadium. Yes, industrialization and cooperative. Feel welcome to Sia. Uh, today is a very special day for us in the in the. fast in the program because we are still moving to other places and I will see Butu and the county secretary I want to recognize the chief officers who are with us here chief officers could you just stand we have a chief uh, uh, we different uh, department and we want to recognize your presence and in the interest of time we may not give opportunity to all of us and when I joined to Kanda, the advisor to the governor on our political uh, affairs, the two departments being the ones hosting uh, the program for today. I'm starting with the CEC club. My name is Richard Hardy, I'm currently attorney. Thank you. Uh,